the Prime Minister! Damn it! We walked right into Hitomi's trap. He got us all in the same place, and then used that opening to move on the Prime Minister. This attack was carefully planned. Even if we tried to intervene now, we'd be too late. Tch, no need to save him. The dude can manage on his own. Of course we're going to rescue him! The Prime Minister is your father, Toki. <sighs> you might show a little bit of concern over this. That's his dad? All the more reason to go after him, right? You guys do whatever you want. Hold on, where are you going? On a date. Later on, suckers. A date? You mean in the middle of the night? Seriously, what in the world can he be thinking? Everyone expresses grief in their own unique way, and this is his, apparently. But don't you worry. Give him time. He'll be all right. What we need to be focused on at the moment is what our next move is going to be. Do you mean about Hitomi? Yes, indeed. He's always been standoffish, never did share anything with any of us. Did that cat just talk? Ah, well, now you know what happens to Yuki when he goes lost. You're kidding me! So that's what happens to you, Yuki? You turn into a kitty cat? Yep, afraid so. It's a real pain. Seems we all learned something new today. You can withstand a powerful attack from Itomi and be none the worse for wear. Uh, yeah. That was pretty nifty, huh? More than nifty. You idiot. Why in the hell did you expose yourself to him like that? Hey! Don't call me an idiot! You're lucky the blast didn't kill you, you know. I'm sorry, okay? I did it because I didn't want anybody else to get hurt. You're such a child sometimes. This isn't a fairy tale. I won't allow it! <laughs> I don't care if it's childish. I won't let anyone die. Hang in there, boys. You'll be all right. Don't you worry, boss. It'll take a hell of a lot more than this to take down the Kizakura. That's right. We're gonna be fine. Damn, Skippy. Thank you, man. I gotta admit, that long-haired kid. I don't know what kind of technique he was using, but it sure was crazy effective. Hitomi's special ability allows him to use electric shock waves. He utilized it to create that corpse army that ambushed our school earlier. Apply a little voltage and voila, dance of the marionettes. His power sets him apart even among code breakers, hence his rank. Three years ago, he dropped off the face of the earth, only to resurface recently. Hold on, the Prime Minister is his former superior, isn't he? Why would he want to kidnap him? For revenge. <laughs> he said himself that that's his goal. Question is, revenge for what? Supposing Hitomi does, in fact, hold some grudge against the Prime Minister, if he wanted to exact that revenge, he would kill him, not just kidnap him. So why go to all the trouble? There's something else he wants. Exactly. Yes, but what could it be? For him to go this far, it must be very important. I have no idea. Whatever his endgame might be, this is just the beginning, and knowing him, he'll make his next move quickly, so we'd better figure something out soon. If we don't, we're guaranteed the results will be catastrophic. Damn it! I can't believe the son of a bitch turned on us! This must be so difficult. Man, the old him would never have done something like this. Whatever happened, the Hitomi we knew is gone. I'm sorry. I can see you all cared about him. He was our leader. The best and brightest of us all. Respected and admired by the whole group. Well, I don't care who he was. It's my duty to destroy evil no matter what shape it takes. It doesn't matter if he was my friend, I'll do what has to be done. Nene! -ne! Nobody is here today. Sissy. I'm glad that you're safe. Don't worry. I'm fine, Toki. You came because you were worried about me. That's very thoughtful. No way. You know who I am? <gasps> Wait, what were we saying? I'm sorry, who are you and what are you doing here? I have to get going. I'm supposed to go shopping with my dad today. It's gonna be lots of fun! I promise you I will make everything better. Uh, 
What are you talking about? I'm just thinking out loud. I don't care if it's childish. I won't let anyone die. Why is she so stubborn? Got a hold of our old photo albums, huh? I'd forgotten about these. What are you doing here? It's finger lacing. It's not finger. Kind of, only it's a bit more intimate, I guess. I can't believe you've never heard of it before. You do this, and by dovetailing your fingers, you make a shape that's supposed to reflect your sense of kinship and respect for each other. I learned it when I was little. I was crazy about it. Used to do it with everyone. My dad, mom, the guys. Basically everyone I saw. You could say it's a family tradition. I see. I can tell you care for your family a great deal. Your parents. I bet they're the same way too. No baby pictures? That's a bit on the weird side, don't you think? Too rambunctious like that. Your folks couldn't get you to stay still. No, I was adopted. So the pictures start after my parents found me. Ogami. Do you have a minute to talk? We raised Sakura, but she's not our biological daughter. Years ago, we found her lying on our doorstep. It was a pitiful sight. There was blood all over her. Blood? That's right. Luckily, though, she wasn't hurt. Though from the amount of blood splattered everywhere, you wouldn't have thought so at first glance. She endured something that night. It was clear the poor child experienced something unspeakably bad. I think it shaped who she is. It was the trigger that compelled Sakura to fear the death of others as strongly as she does. dreading this day since the beginning. We knew the time would come when Sakura would face tragedy again, and now it's here. The poor thing, we only wanted to make her happy. But I suppose that kind of life isn't possible for her. The truth is that I don't understand the kind of powers you people have, and I don't care to. The only thing I care about is Sakura. Promise me you'll do everything in your power to keep her safe, please. Something on your mind, number five? Ah, uh, you know, I was just thinking about Hitomi. Right, you two were always pretty close, huh? We all were. He always left me alone and told me to do whatever I wanted. Don't you think that's because he trusted your judgment, Yuki? I don't know, maybe. With him, you never knew. He kept things to himself so much. He was hard to read. Yeah, that's for sure. Did he ever, like, open up to you? Yeah, once, when I was much younger. I lost my family in an accident. Being the only member of my line to survive was pretty hard on me. I went through a bit of a wild stage. When I met Hitomi, he said something to me I'll never forget. Oh, yeah? If you've got the time to run wild, then you should do something else. Sleep. Why sleep? 
Apparently, he'd been working himself so hard that he hadn't had a chance to rest in a while. So when he heard my behavior was cutting into my sleep, he just couldn't let it stand. <laughs> that sure woke me up. Hitomi made me realize I was letting my grief destroy me. Yeah, that sounds like a one, all right. <sighs> it's almost hard to believe how much he's changed. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to fall asleep. I hate that I've caused so much trouble. My house is as safe as it's gonna get. I'm such an idiot. There had to be a better way than this. Please stop it. You're just killing your brain cells. Eavesdropping? You're supposed to be this rare breed. It's disappointing to see you bent out of shape like a normal person. Well... I am a normal person. It's ridiculous. You feeling guilty over this mess? The whole thing started after I went lost. It's bad enough I feel like an idiot because of it. But now I have to sit back and watch you beat yourself up over nothing too? Please, just mind your own business! If you let yourself get discouraged by this, you're gonna make all the people who believe in you feel like they've been backing the wrong horse. Kid knows what he's talking about. You should listen to him. Yeah, don't worry. We may look rough right now, but we've been through a lot worse. Don't ever feel guilty for bringing your friends home. Especially when they're being chased by bad guys. That's what we're here for. You guys... If that bastard ever shows up here again, he'll regret it. Forgive us. We're the ones who should be apologizing, Sakura. We failed to protect you when you needed our help the most. We're just relieved things didn't turn out worse for you. <sighs> I can't let them see how upset I am. It'll just make them worry about me. Guys, I'm just mad that I let him get the better of me. He's just a scrawny little nobody and somehow he managed to beat me anyway. Daisuke, we need to get back to our training. Sounds good to me. We used to be like that once, remember? I sure do. And I remember Hitomi at the center of it. I wish we could all be together, like we were in the old days. Who says that we won't? What are you saying, Hachiyoji? You haven't given up on Hitomi yet? I just can't. There must be a reason he's acting like this. Yeah. Oh, one is behaving like a completely different person now. But he was a good breaker once. I think you're right. Oh, what a big load of crap. Personally, I couldn't give a damn why the guy's being such a dick. There you are. I'm pissed. And I'm not gonna stop till I've decked that bastard right upside his face. If something did happen to the jackass, maybe a good old kick to the head will undo it. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we've all got work to do. I think the best plan for us is to split up and search for the Prime Minister. Get out there and do some good, Codebreakers. Yeah! takes care of anything that's been left behind. Honestly, I don't think anything was left here to begin with. What is it, Yuki? I see. There's no leads here either. Yeah, all right, thanks. Be honest. You must have some idea why he abducted the Prime Minister. You knew him better than anyone. Surely some kind of motivation comes to mind. Damn it, Ogami. It's obvious that the two of you Sorry, are close. Sorry, that's none of your business. Okami! <laughs> Where did he go? Let's go! Strike him out! Step up, better! Come in. Welcome. Sit down, Miss Kanda. 
So you're saying the rare breed's power is greater than we ever imagined? I'd like to know why you didn't inform me of this sooner. Miss Sakura being a rare breed is something I should have known about. We had to take into account that you used to work for Hitomi. Unfortunately, we couldn't run the risk of the info being leaked. <laughs> Fact is, we weren't sure who could be trusted. Our contacts were giving us bad information. We were told that Ogami was attempting to neutralize Sakura, but we didn't really feel the need to intervene. There's no chance Ogami could have hurt her. Since she's a rare breed, we backed off and let everything play itself out. You suspected me, that's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, part of our mandate was to supervise your activities, Kanda, to ensure you weren't communicating with Hitomi. We thought he might try to make contact with you at some point. Apparently, that was a miscalculation. So we're clear. I'm Rei Ogami's agent, and that's all I am. I am not involved with Hitomi! Then you shouldn't have any problem getting rid of him. <sighs> Trust me. When we find him, he'll be dealt with. There are two versions of the world. The Prime Minister's and Hitomi's. So that's it, then. I think I understand. Have you come up with any promising leads on Hitomi? It's no use. I don't think we'll find anything. Looks like killing the police chief and that Yakuza bunch is working against us now, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe so. Are you investigating at the Prime Minister's house? Yes, of course I am. Hey, Kay. All things considered, you were pretty negligent, don't you think? How do you mean? You had to know that by getting all the codebreakers together in one place, you'd be leaving the area around the Prime Minister shorthanded. Well, I wasn't the one who ordered you to go there, after all. I'm not so sure about that. But even so, you're definitely the one who called in Yuki. If you have something to say, I'd wish you'd say it. I'm impressed. But then again, you always have been the sharp one, haven't you? <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure, but... You bastard! Well, well. Looks like it's finally begun. What? Hitomi's made his next move. The plan's underway. Shadow special ability. A dark and all powerful guardian angel. The only one among us who can defend against so many attacks. Such a rarity. What is this, Heike? Tell me! I already did. Hitomi's master plan is finally underway. And with that, my dear Hachiyoji, I'm overdue in bidding you a fond farewell. Stop this! You may have a special gift for protection, my dear, but nothing in the world is powerful enough to deflect my own specialty. I do worry about you. Oh, what are you doing here? Ogami needs you. He's asked me to help him track you down, Sakura. Really? Thank goodness! He's extremely worried now that we know Hitomi's after you. Please, I think it'd be best if you follow me. He's really in here? Yes, this is a secret base. Oh, wow, I'm in some kind of secret codebreaker hideout? Not to nerd out, but this is really cool! Sure is a bit dark, though. Are there any lights we can turn on, maybe? It's the Prime Minister! What in the world's going on here, Heike? I brought the rare breed, as promised. No need to thank me, Ace. 
All I ask is that you hold up your end of the bargain as discussed. Uh, Heike, this is crazy! Tell me you're not dealing with this maniac! What is this? Oh, I've decided the Codebreakers really aren't right for me. We call that shifting loyalties. Delivering you here was the price of my admission. Be a good little hostage and you won't get hurt. Do I make myself clear? 